Hello guys, welcome to this laser show. I think most of you have enjoyed this type of laser show. Can you imagine? When laser was invented in 1960, it was called a solution looking for a problem. Since then, laser has become omnipresent, finding utility in thousands of highly varied applications in every section of modern society. Some of them are as entertainment, fiber optics communication, Beside fiber optics communication, it is also used for free space optical communication, including laser communication in space. In medical, it is used to cure liver and lung disease, eye disease, endoscopy, for dental problem, bloodless surgery. It also destroys cancerous and precancerous cells. In industry, for cutting, drilling, welding of metals and other materials, in miling, latching, 3D printers, and for making circuits in PC board. In military, for marking targets, laser guided rockets, sniper guns, night vision device, thermal imaging, and many more. So, it has many applications in every field. Now the question is, what is laser? The word laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Suppose this is the laser light. By seeing this, we can say that it is of single color, means of single wavelength. Or we can say it is monochromatic, moving only in one direction, means unidirectional, coherent, highly energetic. So, we can define laser as a source that generates an intense beam of unidirectional, coherent and monochromatic light by stimulated emission of radiation. Now the question is, what is stimulated emission? Before stimulated emission, I would like to discuss about stimulated absorption and spontaneous emission. What is stimulated absorption? What do you mean by stimulated or stimulate? Stimulate means to make something active or more active or to induce, to excite. Here a photon is incident to stimulate an electron. And the process of absor absorbing energy is called absorption. As we all know that there are different energy levels in an atom. The electrons that are very close to the nucleus have lowest energy level. Suppose the energy of the ground state is even and of higher energy state is E2 or we can uh, denote the ground state by state 1 or excited state by state 2. When a photon of energy H nu which is equal to the energy difference of these two levels means E2 minus E1 is incident on an electron then after absorbing energy from photon electron jump from ground state to excited state. This process is called stimulated absorption. What is spontaneous emission? The emission of radiation when electron fall back to the ground state without any external influence is called spontaneous emission. If the electron is in excited state then it cannot stay here for a long period. Around after 10 is power minus 8 second it fall back to the ground state by releasing photon of energy H nu which is equal to the energy difference of these two levels means E2 minus E1. This process is called spontaneous emission. What is stimulated emission? The process by which electrons in the excited state are stimulated to emit photons while falling to ground state is called stimulated emission. If an electron is in the excited state and a photon of energy H nu equals to the difference of these two energy levels means E2 minus E1 incident on it then after interaction with the photon electron fall back to the ground state by releasing a photon of energy H nu or we can say that the incident photon stimulate or forces the excited electron to emit a photon and falls into a lower state or ground state. This process is called stimulated emission. In this process, both the incident photon and the 
emitted photons have same energy means same frequency same phase and both are in the same direction there are many ways to produce light but stimulated emission is the only method to produce monochromatic unidirectional and coherent beam of light and this light is called laser light thus stimulated emission is the only process by which we can get laser light between these three mechanism means for a radiative transition these three mechanism are always present at the same time so for laser medium conditions have to be found that that favor stimulated emission over spontaneous emission and absorption thus for the production of laser both the right condition and right medium must be chosen when a photon of energy h nu is incident then it has an equal chance of absorption by ground state atom and interaction with the excited state atom means both absorption and stimulated emission have the same probability but for laser production there must be stimulated emission and to favor the stimulated emission over absorption there must be more excited state atoms than ground state atoms so this is the right condition for the laser production now about the right medium as we know that stimulated emission and spontaneous emission both empty the upper levels so for laser production this level must be emptied faster by stimulated emission and we know that stimulated emission is much more likely to happen if the medium is filled with the large number of photons the best way to do this is to confine the photons in an optical cavity this is the right medium for laser production means for laser production the right condition is when the number of atoms in the excited states are greater than the number of atoms in ground state and the right medium is optical cavity the situation in which the number of atoms in the higher energy state or excited state becomes greater than the number of atoms in the lower energy state or ground state is called population inversion and the process by which population inversion is achieved is called pumping or we can say the process by which atoms are transferred from lower state to the higher energy state is called pumping the commonly used pumping methods are optical pumping electrical pumping chemical pumping and inelastic atom atom collisions in optical pumping energy is supplied in the form of light or photons in electrical pumping a strong electric field is applied in chemical pumping the energy necessary for pumping is generated by a chemical reaction and in inelastic atom atom collisions population inversion is achieved by inelastic atom atom collisions in laser working substance working substance means in which population inversion is to be achieved is placed in a specially designed cylindrical tube called optical cavity or resonance cavity it consists of a pair of mirrors which are facing each other these mirrors could be plane or curved one of the mirror is made fully silvered reflecting and the other is partially reflecting so that an intense beam can emerge out of it it works as an optical window this optical cavity makes the energy density large energy density means energy per unit volume means the number of photons per unit volume how when a photon is emitted by spontaneous emission it interacts with the excited atom and two photons emitted in the same direction having same energy and same phase by stimulated emission these two photons interact with other two excited atoms and gives 
four photons. These four photons reflected by this end and come back to the active medium and interact with four other excited atoms and gives eight atoms, eight photons. Sorry. After multiple reflections, we get an intense beam of laser and when it is sufficiently intense, it comes from the optical window. The multiple reflections also makes the stimulated emission more coherent. Hence, optical cavity is able to convert the active medium into a light generator. So, the necessary conditions to achieve laser action are a spontaneous emission must be negligible in comparison to the stimulated emission and for this population inversion must be achieved and coherent beam of light must be sufficiently amplified. Now this lecture ends. In the next lecture we will derive the relation between Einstein coefficients. There are some frequently asked questions or the exam questions. So type Questions, what is laser? What do you mean stimulated emission of radiation? What is spontaneous emission of radiation? Define population inversion. What is pumping? And the long answer type questions are what is laser? Explain its principle. Discuss the essential requirement of producing laser beam. Okay guys, thank you.